Hi, in this video we'll learn how to add or subtract the fractions with unlike denominators. So I have 7 eighths plus negative 2 sevenths. Now 7 eighths plus negative 2 sevenths is equivalent to 7 eighths minus 2 sevenths because positive times negative is going to be negative. So we'll get 7 eighths minus 2 sevenths. Now I cannot subtract these fractions because I don't have a common denominator. To find the common denominator, I'll simply multiply 8 and 7. I'll simply multiply my denominators, and 8 times 7 is going to be 56. So I know that the least common denominator is going to be 56. So my new fraction will have a denominator of 56, common denominator of 56. Now this strategy of finding the least common denominator will not always work. Suppose in case you, if you have 4 and 8, you see that 8 is a multiple of 4, right? What's the relationship between 4 and 8? 8 is a multiple of 4. If you see this kind of scenario, then always remember that the greater number will be your least common denominator. So the least common multiple of 4 and 8 is going to be equal to 8. Let's say if you have 4 and 16. Since 16 is a multiple of 4, the least common multiple of 4 and 16 is going to be 16. Now there is another scenario in which let's say if you have a number 8 and 12, if you need to find the least common multiple of 8 and 12. Now first of all, you're going to think, what's the relationship between 8 and 12? Well, they're not the multiple, right? 12 is not a multiple of 8. What's the relationship between 8 and 12? Well, they both are divisible by the same number. That's a, that is really important. They both are divisible by 4. So if you get this kind of scenario where your denominators are divisible by the same number, then what you're going to do is you're going to list down the multiples of the greater number. So we have to list down the multiples of 12. The multiple of 12 is going to be 24, 36, 48, and so on. So what you need to do is you need to see if this multiple is divisible by 8 or not. If you can divide this by 8, then that will be your least common multiple. So 24 divided by 8, yes, you can divide 24 by 8, and that is equal to 3. So now we know that the least common multiple of 8 and 12 is going to be 24. So these are the two different scenarios, basically three scenarios which you need to remember. And then we had a scenario 8 and 7. They're not related to each other, right? The greater number 8 is not a multiple of 7. They are not divisible by the same number, so they don't have any relation. In this situation, you just multiply the numbers and write the least common multiple. So the least common multiple of 8 and 7 is going to be 56. So that's why by looking at this fraction, looking at the denominators, right away I said that the least common multiple of 8 and 7 is going to be 56. So these are the three different scenarios which you can keep in mind to find the least common denominator. Now, let's get back to our uh, question. Now I want my new fractions denominator to be 56. How do I get from 8 to 56? What do I multiply in 8 to make it 56? Well, I can multiply 8 by 7 because 8 times 7 is going to give me 56. Now one thing to keep in mind is we cannot just multiply the denominator and leave the numerator as it is. We want to balance our fraction. Whatever we do to the denominator, we have to do the same thing to the numerator. So that means if I multiplied my denominator by 7, I would also have to multiply my numerator by 7. And you see that 7 times 8 is 56, and then we just have to multiply the numerator. 7 times 7 is 49. Now we're going to do the same thing to this fraction. How do I get from 7 to 56? I want my new denominator to be 56. How do I get from 7 to 56? What do I multiply in 7 to make it equal to 56? Well, I can multiply 7 by 8 to make it equal to 56. Because 7 times 8 is 56. Now if I'm multiplying my denominator by 8, I would also have to multiply my numerator by 8 to keep my fraction balanced. And now, 
I just have to multiply across. 2 times 8 is going to be 16. Now, notice that we have the common denominator, and now we can go ahead and subtract these fractions. We subtract the fractions, we never subtract the denominator, so the denominator is going to stay 56, and 49 minus 16 is going to be equal to 33. So I got 33 over 56, and I cannot reduce this fraction anymore. So this is going to be my final answer, 33 over 56. Remember that if you can simplify the fraction, make sure you write the simplified answer. You reduce the fraction and write that as your final answer. That's all in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel and want to see more videos on other math topics, be sure to subscribe down below and share it with your friends. See you in next video.